Welcome to Carolyn Braden's Turning the Ordinary into the Extraordinary. Today I'm going to show you how to make this avant-garde, spectacular flower crown. So here are the items you need for your project. You need some fake flowers. I chose some fake black hydrangeas. You need a headband. I chose about a one inch wide satin wrapped headband. I chose some glitter tool, multi-colored glitter tool. It's six inches in width and 12 yards, but we won't need close to 12 yards. And I purchased some plain black tool as well. You'll need some thin floral wire and a pair of scissors. I've already created one of these flower crowns. I did it in pink and called it a festival flower crown, so you can check out that video on YouTube as well. This just shows you you can do it in all different colors. Today's is going to be a spectacular flower crown because it is the month of October and a lot of people are starting to make fun costumes and if you don't want to do an entire costume this is a great alternative of something you can wear to remain festive. So we're going to start off by don't roll away glitter tool cutting off our flowers I'm just going to snip them off. I'm just using plain scissors for this. If your flowers are really, really tough to get off, you may need some pliers, some kind of wire cutters, but mine are coming off very easily. Leave some of those stems as you trim them off because you are going to be using those stems to attach them to your headband. So one stem of the hydrangeas left us with about 12 little stems of flowers and that's going to be plenty for me. So to get started, let's clear the area. I usually start towards the bottom of the headband and then put the flowers around that way. I'm going to start by coming up just a little bit from the end here. I don't want to put it all the way down to the end because that might bother your ears when you are wearing it. So let's come up a little bit and take the floral wire and wrap it around the stem area really, really, really tight. And I'm going to try to end on the front side of the headband. If you happen to end on this side, just try to snip those edges a little bit. That way this wire isn't sticking into your head. You are going to cover the wire with tool but you still want to be careful because this would hurt really bad if it was touching your ears. I've got the bottom part covered with wire and I'm going to put some more up towards the top. That way this doesn't slide right out of here because that's what that did. I could have probably cut a piece of wire a little bit longer, but that's okay. We just have fun making things. Here's another piece of wire I had cut. I'm going to wrap it around the flowers to make sure it stays secure. Make sure none of the petals are stuck under the wire. You want it to be kind of fluffy. We're kind of weaving the wire through the flowers. And that's good. It's nice and tight. Now the tool will help this stay on even tighter, but this will be fine for now. Nice and tight. Now, let's see here. I think for this headband to make sure that I get it on here really nice and evenly, I'm going to go ahead and come over here and put some flowers on this side and then start maybe doing one on this side, one on this side, one on this side until I get to the top. You can do this however it works for you. I just kind of do it different ways each time I do it. It doesn't matter how you get the flowers on here. What matters is that you just get them on nice and secure. So now I have some flowers wrapped on this side and on this side. And now all you do is you take some more pieces of your flowers and start adding them in and wrapping wire around and then do it to this side, this side, and this side until you have the entire crown covered. I'm gonna to continue to add some more flowers and then check back in in a second. 
So I have the majority of the flowers on the crown, but I'm noticing that there are some little gaps in some of the areas. So I'm gonna take whatever is left because I have one, two, three, four, five stalks left of flowers. I'm gonna go and add those in just so I can use all of the flowers to make it nice and full. If you have any gaps as well, I recommend doing that. And also check to make sure the front and the back looks nice. If you think you could add some more flowers on one side or the other, do that at this time. So now I have the headband all wrapped with the flowers. You can either leave it like this at this point because it does look nice, but you can see the floral wire underneath and so that is why I choose to use tulle to add a little bit more fullness and to cover up this wire. So I've chosen a glitter tool and it's super duper messy, but that's okay because it will look really nice. So let's get this tool package open and I can already see that I'm getting some glitter on my hands. That's okay. The holidays are all about glitter. So we've got this glitter tool. I'm gonna do some glitter tool and some regular tool. So let's get this glitter tool rolled out at about, I think this was about eight inches. And I'm gonna layer it with a piece of regular tool and then cut it. If this measurement is not perfect, that's okay because it is going to be trimmed after it's on the crown. Basically we have a tool ribbon and I'm gonna start at the top of the crown. I'm gonna find a really good spot here inside the crown at the top, move kind of the flowers out of the way a little bit, bring it up through the flowers, make sure it's flat on the bottom, and tie it once, and at this point you kind of wiggle it through, make sure you don't flatten any of those flowers because you want the flowers to stay nice and full. I see one in here. Go on flower. We don't want to tie you down. And I got that tied down. Oh no, one of my flowers popped off. That's okay. I can pop it right back on. So I got it down once. And I'm going to do it again. Take your time with this. You want it to look nice. So I knotted it a second time and I see that there is a flower inside of the knot so I'm going to pull that out. And I've got it on there. I probably cut my tool just a little too long. You may want yours to kind of go up kind of tall. I don't want mine too tall. I'm going to trim that right about there. And so we've got one piece on and I'm going to keep putting some more on all in between these flowers until I have all of my wire covered up on the underside of my headband. So let's do that again. Set the headband aside. All this beautiful glitter. Again, holidays are about glitter, so that's okay. So let's roll out some more tool. Roll out a second piece. Make this one maybe just a little bit shorter. Got my two pieces. Make my tool ribbon. Find another spot where I need to cover up this wire. Got it knotted once. Let's knot it a second time and trim it up. Still need to make my tool a little bit shorter, but that's okay. So I've got, I can see that I, there's some more wire here. So I'm gonna probably keep adding more and more of this tool until I get it all the way down here at the bottom and just keep adding it on. So I'll check back in in a moment. 
when I get some more tool on there. But so far, it's looking kind of cool. It's very crownish. So this is the finished crown. At this point, when you get all the tool put on, you can decide whether or not you want to trim down the tool. This one is a whole lot more full than the festival flower crown that I've made. I cut the tool down pretty short on this one. You can see the difference between the two. See this one is kind of short. This one is kind of big. It's very avant-garde, but I love it. So I think I'm going to leave this one a little bit longer. The only suggestion that I have is down by the ear parts, the parts that are going to touch your ear area. I do suggest maybe trimming those up a little bit so they don't irritate the tops of your ears. If you do any trimming, just make sure you try it on and make sure that it looks even all the way around. I did try this on and I noticed that there were a couple pieces that were a little, little bit longer than the others. You want to check it on the front and on the back side because it would be nice for this to look good from all angles. I think we've got a little bit long of a piece here. And I also went through on the bottom side and made sure that all of this wire was covered up and I also made sure that there weren't any gaps up here. Like I'm kind of seeing a gap right here, but I think I can just kind of rearrange some of that tool and make sure that there's not a gap. I don't know. I think I may add another piece right in here. That's okay. We'll do that and then show you the finished product on me. Another tip is as I added the pieces of tool down on the end pieces, I did make the pieces of tool smaller. So I started with about eight inch, seven to eight inch pieces, and then I started making my pieces of tool a little bit shorter as I went down. This gives it a more graduated kind of crown look. Make this for Halloween or just make it because you want to look fabulous at your next party or event. Thanks for watching Carolyn Braden's Turning the Ordinary into the Extraordinary. And don't forget, be very creative with this project. You don't have to do it the way I did it. Do it the way you want to do it and make it your own. Visit Carolyn's Blooming Creations.com.